yeah, I'm Animal Training Camp. It's weight cutting day two. I had a really good question from April Slams. April Slamowitz. Uh, so she asked me how come no complex uh, carbs like rice, pasta, bread, or oatmeal during a water weight cut. And if I was worried about not getting those in. And I'm not. But I want to give a quick explanation of why we would cut out most carbs from the days we water cut. Now remember this, weight cutting is not the nutrition you should follow all the time. Weight cutting is not the nutrition you should follow all the time. As fighters and weight class based athletes, we only do this maybe three or four days leading up to a weigh in and we probably only compete in that sport two to three times a year. So we're not doing this a lot and while it is a little dangerous, it's not something that we do all the time. So when we're thinking about carbohydrates versus protein, why am I eating more protein than I am uh, any carbohydrates? And I'm going to do a, a really quick video and we're going to weigh everything and we'll see how it looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize my scale. So I have a scale here and I'm going to put my dish on the scale that weighs 17 grams and I'm gonna zero that out now I'm going to weigh a piece of chicken that I had slow cooked and that weighs as you could see 92 grams okay. then I'm gonna take a piece of bread this is just the easiest thing to show you with if I did it with pasta, I would have to let it soak a lot longer. Bread, you're going to see the effect right away. So this piece of bread is 28 grams. Okay. So this piece of bread is 28 grams. That's about an ounce. Now, I'm going to add to each one some water. Okay. So I'm going to add... All right, so I'm going to add 254 grams of water to the bread. And I'm going to then look to do the same to the chicken. All right, so I added 255 grams of water to each item, and I've been letting it sit, okay? Now I'm going to take it and put it in the container and weigh it. So I take my piece of bread and I put it on the plate. Now we're going to normalize that for the, the weight of the tray, which was 17 grams. Now look at this, the bread, 148 grams, right? It absorbed all that water, right? So it, for 30 grams, absorbed almost 120 grams of water, okay? So look, now it weighs 140 grams. So if I eat that piece of bread and then drank water, that shit's gonna be in my belly. Now let's do the same thing with the chicken. My piece of chicken, all right, and there's, there's actually water in here. I'm gonna, Give it a fresh thing. And my chicken weighs, what is that? 101 grams, okay? 102 grams. So that means it only absorbed about 10 grams of water. And that's probably water that's in the dish, actually. So, if I'm eating protein, it's not gonna hold on to that water weight. And here we're looking at a pure water cut. This is not thinking about long-term nutrition, although bread probably isn't great anyway. I mean, look at how much fucking water it absorbed. No wonder when you eat bread, you're like, oh, I feel bloated. Why do you feel bloated? Because look at all the fucking water it holds, you know? And when I'm eating chicken, it's not holding any water. You know, the chicken is, is the way it is. What is it holding? 10 grams? That's nothing. That's probably the 10 grams is the water that, that wound up in the dish from me doing it, okay? So when I'm cutting my carbohydrate intake, 
I'm going to allow my body to easily get rid of the water. It's not going to hold on to that water. Once I have a carbohydrate, a starchy carb like bread or rice or pasta or oatmeal for a pure weight cut, it's going to hold on to it. And I'm not worried about not having uh, that much carbs, especially if I'm not training hard. The hard part of the training's over because there's a process called, I think it's glycolysis, that when you eat a lot of protein, your kidney and your liver is going to turn some of that protein, it's going to use some of those amino acids, break them down, and use that as glucose. That's why a lot of people on the carnivore diet seem to do well with it, because uh, they don't really need as much carbohydrate, especially it's not like they're professional athletes, a lot of the people on it, right? If you're just working out regular and you take a break when you need to, how much carbohydrate do you really need? Me personally, I do have carbs in my diet, especially around my training, because I'm training at a very high level. So, but, you know, eating protein and some vegetables, they're not going to really retain water. Mostly protein doesn't really retain much water. So that's a really good example of why we cut out all of the... I know, I see this thing is Skippy. This is my wife, she loves Skippy peanut butter. Listen, you got to do what you got to do for me personally. I prefer, you know, almond butter, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Uh, I'll do another thing on how to eat healthy when your spouse doesn't. That's a really good one that I've mastered. So, uh, really quick recap. The bread held about uh, triple, a little more than triple its weight in water. And the chicken held almost none of its weight uh, in water. Okay? So that's why we cut out the complex carbs.